I'm going to talk to you about this concept known as word embeddings. So just simply, word embeddings are some of the techniques that exist in language models today. So uh, a, a sister organi research lab of ours focused on an, running an experiment on understanding bias in word embeddings. So it was a pretty simple uh, experiment. The idea is that it would take job descriptions, um, hundreds of thousands of job descriptions, and it would ask models to predict what the person's occupation is based on that job description. So in this example, uh, this is the job description of Melinda Ann Gates. Um, it starts off by saying Melinda Ann Gates is an American philanthropist, and then it proceeds to explaining what her job description is. So when the model was fed this description, it output it with a prediction that the person behind this occupation is a teacher. So that's a, okay, maybe an okay thing, but what we did was we followed up the experiment by doing something really, really simple. For every place in the text where there was a reference to a female, that was switched to a male reference. So instead of saying, you know, she did this and so and so, or his, uh, her, her uh, experiences in this field, we replaced that with male references. The thing that happened was the model, based on that and nothing else, completely changed this prediction from assuming that this person was a teacher to this person being an attorney. So changing nothing in the description apart from the gender uh, references changed what the model thought uh, the person would be. And this is just an example of some of the systemic biases that exist in these systems.